Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're so glad to have you here. Today we're diving into a crucial topic for anyone on a weight loss journey. How to tell if your diet is costing you muscle and what you can do to prevent it from happening. Let's face it, we all want to look and feel our best and losing weight is often a part of that journey. But what many people don't realize is that not all weight loss is created equal or beneficial. If you're not careful, you could be losing precious muscle mass along with fat, which can sabotage your efforts in the long run. The good news is, there are clear signs you can watch out for to determine if your diet is doing more harm than good. In this video, we'll explore three telltale signs that your diet might be costing you muscle, and more importantly, what you can do to combat it effectively. Stay tuned. So, you've made the commitment to lose weight and you're seeing the numbers on the scale drop. That's fantastic, right? Well, not so fast. While seeing the numbers go down can be motivating, it's crucial to understand that rapid weight loss is often a sign that you're losing more than just fat. When you drastically cut calories and lose weight too quickly, your body goes into a sort of survival mode. It starts breaking down muscle tissue for energy, which might seem counterintuitive, but it's your body's way of conserving fat stores, which it sees as essential for survival. Think of it this way, your body is like a car, and muscle is like the engine. The bigger and stronger your engine, the more fuel, calories, you burn, even at rest. When you lose muscle, you're essentially shrinking your engine, which slows down your metabolism and makes it harder to lose weight and keep it off in the long run. Moreover, losing muscle can leave you feeling weak, tired, and more susceptible to injuries. It can also negatively impact your body composition, making you look skinny fat, thin, but with a higher body fat percentage. So, how much weight loss is too much? Generally, aiming for a weight loss of 1 to 2 pounds per week is considered a healthy and sustainable rate. This allows your body to adapt gradually and minimizes the risk of muscle loss. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Focus on making sustainable lifestyle changes rather than crash dieting, and your body will thank you for it. In the next chapter, we'll delve into another sign that your diet might be costing you muscle. Stay tuned. Expanded. Chapter. So, you've made the commitment to lose weight and you're seeing the numbers on the scale drop. That's fantastic, right? Well, not so fast. While seeing the numbers go down can be motivating, it's crucial to understand that rapid weight loss is often a sign that you're losing more than just fat. When you drastically cut calories and lose weight too quickly, your body goes into a sort of survival mode. It starts breaking down muscle tissue for energy, which might seem counterintuitive, but it's your body's way of conserving fat stores, which it sees as essential for survival. Think of it this way, your body is like a car, and muscle is like the engine. The bigger and stronger your engine, the more fuel, calories, you burn, even at rest. When you lose muscle, you're essentially shrinking your engine, which slows down your metabolism and makes it harder to lose weight and keep it off in the long run. Moreover, losing muscle can leave you feeling weak, tired, and more susceptible to injuries. It can also negatively impact your body composition, making you look skinny fat, thin, but with a higher body fat percentage. So, how much weight loss is too much? Generally, aiming for a weight loss of 1 to 2 pounds per week is considered a healthy and sustainable rate. This allows your body to adapt gradually and minimizes the risk of muscle loss. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Focus on making sustainable lifestyle changes rather than crash dieting, and your body will thank you for it. In the next chapter, we'll delve into another sign that your diet might be costing you muscle. Stay tuned. It's important to set realistic goals and understand that weight loss is a journey, not a sprint. Enjoy the process and celebrate small victories along the way. Incorporate activities that you love and that make you feel good, not just those that burn the most calories. Educate yourself on nutrition and fitness to make informed decisions about your health. Seek professional guidance if needed, whether it's from a personal trainer, a nutritionist, or a healthcare provider. Remember the goal is to create a healthier, happier you, not just a smaller number on the scale. Stay motivated and keep pushing forward and you'll achieve your goals in a healthy and sustainable way. In the next chapter we'll delve into another sign that your diet might be costing you muscle. Stay tuned. Remember those days when you used to power through your workouts, feeling energized and strong? Those were the days when you felt unstoppable, like you could conquer any challenge that came your way. Now if even the thought of hitting the gym fills you with dread, and you find yourself making excuses to skip your workouts, 
and your workouts feel like an uphill battle, your diet might be to blame. It's not just about willpower or motivation, what you eat plays a crucial role in how you feel and perform. When you're not consuming enough calories and essential nutrients, especially protein, your body starts to struggle. Your body doesn't have the building blocks it needs to repair and rebuild muscle tissue. Protein is essential for muscle repair and growth, and without it your muscles can't recover properly. This can lead to muscle fatigue, weakness, and decreased performance. You might find yourself feeling sore for longer periods and unable to lift as much weight as you used to. Think of your muscles like a construction site. Just as workers need materials to build and repair structures, your muscles need nutrients to recover and grow. When you work out, you're essentially creating tiny tears in the muscle fibers. This is a natural part of the muscle building process, but it requires proper nutrition to be effective. To repair and rebuild these fibers, your body needs a steady supply of amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. Without enough protein, your body can't keep up with the demands of your workouts. If you're not consuming enough protein, your body will struggle to repair the damage caused by exercise, leading to prolonged muscle soreness, decreased strength, and a higher risk of injury. This can be incredibly frustrating and demotivating. In severe cases it can even lead to muscle loss. Your hard-earned gains can start to disappear leaving you feeling weaker and less capable. But it's not just about protein. Your body needs a variety of nutrients to function optimally. Carbohydrates are also crucial for providing your body with the energy it needs to fuel your workouts. They are your body's primary source of energy, especially during high-intensity exercise. When your carbohydrate stores are depleted, you'll likely feel sluggish, weak, and unable to push yourself during exercise. This can make your workouts feel much harder than they should be. So what can you do? The solution lies in your diet. Make sure you're consuming a balanced diet that includes plenty of protein, healthy carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Each of these macronutrients plays a vital role in your overall health and fitness. Aim to eat a meal or snack containing protein and carbohydrates within a couple of hours after your workout to replenish your energy stores and support muscle recovery. This post-workout nutrition is crucial for maximizing your gains and minimizing soreness. In the next chapter, we'll explore how your diet might be affecting not just your physical health, but also your mental well-being. Don't miss it. Your diet has a profound impact on every aspect of your life, and understanding this connection can help you achieve your fitness goals and improve your overall quality of life. Chapter 3. Mood Swings Got You Down Sign number 3. Your diet is messing with your mind and your muscles. We often associate diet and exercise with physical health, but what we eat can have a profound impact on our mental well-being too. It's not just about the calories or the macros, it's about the quality and variety of the nutrients we consume. If you've been experiencing mood swings, increased irritability, anxiety, or even feelings of depression, your diet might be playing a role and indirectly affecting your muscle mass. These emotional fluctuations can be more than just a bad day. They can be a sign that your body is not getting what it needs. Our brains rely on a delicate balance of nutrients to function optimally. Essential vitamins and minerals act as cofactors in the production of neurotransmitters, which are the chemicals that communicate information throughout our brain and body. When we restrict calories too severely or eliminate entire food groups, we deprive our brains of essential vitamins, minerals, and neurotransmitters that regulate mood, focus, and energy levels. This deprivation can lead to a cascade of negative effects on both our mental and physical health. For instance, serotonin, a neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in mood regulation, is synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan, which is found in protein-rich foods. Without adequate protein intake, our bodies struggle to produce enough serotonin, leading to mood imbalances. When your protein intake is insufficient, it can disrupt serotonin production, potentially contributing to mood swings and feelings of depression. This is why it's important to include a variety of protein sources in your diet. Furthermore, extreme dieting can lead to blood sugar fluctuations, which can also wreak havoc on your mood. When you skip meals or consume too many refined carbohydrates, your blood sugar levels can spike and then crash, leaving you feeling irritable and anxious. When your blood sugar levels spike and crash, it can trigger feelings of irritability, anxiety, and difficulty concentrating. So what's the solution? How can we ensure that our diet supports both our mental and physical health? Focus on nourishing your body with a balanced and sustainable diet that includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fats. 
These foods provide a steady stream of energy and help to stabilize blood sugar levels. These foods provide a steady stream of energy, stabilize blood sugar levels, and provide the essential nutrients your brain needs to function at its best. Incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods ensures that your body gets a wide range of vitamins and minerals. Remember, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Taking care of your mind through proper nutrition can lead to improved mood, better focus, and overall well-being. By prioritizing a balanced diet that nourishes both your body and mind, you'll be well on your way to achieving your weight loss goals while feeling your best both physically and mentally. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good from the inside out. So next time you plan your meals, think about how they can benefit not just your muscles but also your mind. So there you have it folks. Keep an eye out for these signs and make sure to follow the tips to maintain your muscle mass while losing weight. Remember, a healthy weight loss journey is not just about the number on the scale, it's about feeling your best from the inside out. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms we've discussed, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional or registered dietitian. They can help you create a personalized plan that supports your individual needs and goals. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more health and fitness tips. See you next time.